I'd like to talk to you about the Every Person Plan in Kansas City. Hi, my name is Gary Kendall, and I lead Love KC, which is a convening platform in Kansas City that's designed to help us move a needle toward the five finish lines. Joel McGill, my good friend, why don't you introduce yourself? Yeah, I'm Joel McGill, and I'm the National Coordinator for All America, and I am helping spearhead the Region 3 part of this initiative in Kansas City. We've been working together for a couple of years now on this idea that we're better together, but also there's really no other way we can move a needle in Kansas City toward gospel engagement if we don't do it together. And so we're working to bring regions. We've chosen five regions in Kansas City. And then we're working inside of those regions to bring churches, mission leaders, not-for-profits, engaging the business sector to be able to say that in this idea of collaboration that we, we have to do this together. And if we don't, we won't be able to see any kind of significant lasting change. And we're seeing this across the country where communities are coming together around common outcomes. And so we have what we call the five finish lines, which we're working on here in Kansas City, which is to pray for everyone by name. I know I'm here following Jesus because my grandma prayed for me every day. Uh, we're seeing every person engaged with compassion and justice. We're seeing every person be engaged with the gospel and followed up with to make sure that they continue in that journey. We're seeing every person engage with the Word of God and then see every person connected to a Christian community. So these five finish lines are becoming a common language for what does it mean to reach my community. And Joel, we believe that every leader in Kansas City can find a space inside of this where it fits their passion and their giftedness, and then they can bring that to collaborate with others, and especially with those who have a similar kind of wiring to be able to move the needle forward in any one of the five finish lines that you've just mentioned. Yeah, and we're seeing that right here in Kansas City in even just the zip code 64137. We started doing assessments around these five finish lines and found there was so much activity just in one little zip code in all these categories, but we didn't even know about it. And different groups that were evangelistic or doing uh, uh, discipleship movements were all disconnected. So we're bridging silos, championing people to stay in the lane that they're running in, but let's run together. And we're already seeing collaborative outreaches happen on about a quarterly basis. And all across the country, we're seeing this, where God is bringing the body of Christ together uh, like no time that I've seen. Yeah, yeah there is a lot of interest. And, and you said it well. Inside of these regions, people have skin in the game. Inside of these regions, there's a unique kind of cultural vibe. Inside of these regions, people know each other. They already have relational networks. It makes so much sense to be able to get the regions collaborating and working together. And what we really ask is that at least twice a year, we could bring the leaders from these regions together. And then at least once a year, bring the leaders from all five regions together in a summit. We believe that this kind of rhythm is only the beginning. There could be a lot more. And we're not limiting it to twice, but at least two times. What we're finding is people really want to meet more than twice. Yeah, and I think that's the power of the decentralized strategy is knowing that each neighborhood has its own unique uh, dynamics. Like I said, in our 64137, there's seven neighborhoods that are as different from one another as they could be. And we're finding communities uh, that are being engaged by different ministries and to be able to rally with one another around where they are, but be able to do it uniquely. So we're seeing across the city how they're going to reach in Johnson County is going to be different than Hickman Mills. And this strategy really does allow for that creativity where you can do a, a lot of those finish lines totally differently and integrate it with what you're already doing. It's not a program right. that you have to embrace. It's more of saying, hey, let's go after every lost person in Kansas City with these five metrics that we all pretty much agree on and let's measure it together but do it in the way that God has given us giftings. Yeah what Joel and I like to say is we're we're leading together in a way that's convening these meetings. You don't have to fly the flag of Love KC or All America. We're a backbone organization that comes up underneath you and says we'll work together to find the top times and places to convene. We'll help you connect to a broader relational network than you already have and then we'll kind of oversee it and keep track of all the data we collect 
so that we can see this move into fulfillment over time. Yeah, and I think about a conversation I had with a pastor just this last week who's saying, okay, well, what are you asking me to do? You know, what, what's the ask? And I said, well, which part of this region is God giving you a burden yeah. for? Where are you already working? What are you already doing? Um, how can we help you? How can we, you know, how can we help connect you with other people in your area that are going after that same thing? And he said, wait, that's it? You're not like, I don't have to sign up or I'm like, no, I'm like, well, we need to know where you're working so that we can better understand where the gaps are, but also so we can better connect you with other people that are already in your area. And I think that's going to be the creativity and the fun and also not adding another burden of saying another thing, but it's really about working smarter than just Absolutely. working harder. So this is our prayer that every single person who is alive in the Kansas City region would have multiple opportunities to hear the good news of Jesus from a friend and would make that choice. So we would love for you to join this mission.